Hello. When we shine a laser beam through a diffraction grating, we get a spectacular interference pattern. Compared to the double slit interference pattern, the bright fringes of the grating's interference pattern are much brighter and more spaced out. So how is the grating different from the double slit? Well, for a start, a double slit has um, two slits, whereas the grating has hundreds, if not thousands, or even more slits. So I'm drawing only um, 10 slits here. One important thing to note is that the, um, the slits are regularly spaced out. So if the slit separation between slit 1 and slit 2 is D, so is the slit separation between slit 2 and slit 3. So even though there are many, many slits, there is only one slit separation. So each slit uh, lit up by the laser beam act like a wave source. So every slit sends out one ray to superpose at a destination point on the screen. Just like in the double slit, if the screen is placed far away enough, all the rays are going to be practically parallel to one another. And just like in the double slit, this length here corresponds to the path difference. So between slit 1 and slit 2, the path difference is d sine theta. And the path difference between slit 2 and slit 3 is also d sine theta. This comes about because the slits, as I said earlier, are regularly spaced out. I'm going to use an applet to show you the outcome of the superposition of these 10 rays. Let's start with the double slit. So the red and the blue waves are supposed to represent the light rays arriving at the destination point. And this magenta wave here is the resultant wave. By adjusting this knob here, I can adjust the path difference and therefore the phase difference between the two waves arriving at the destination point. So for example, if I set the path difference to zero, the two waves are in phase, right? And we get a constructive interference. If I set the path difference to half a lambda, you get destructive interference. When I set it to one lambda, it's back to constructive interference and so on. So every complete turn of this knot uh, is a phase, is a path difference of one lambda. Um, now let's have 10 slits and therefore uh, 10 rays. So you see, when the path difference is set to zero, I have 10 waves perfectly in phase. Therefore, I have a resultant wave that's an amplitude of 10 A. It's like a super constructive interference. And these 10 waves are going to align perfectly again when the path difference is 1 lambda. And again, when the path difference is 2 lambda, 3 lambdas, and so on. Now, what about the destructive interference? For the double slit, I have to increase the path difference to half a lambda before we get the destructive interference. When I have 10 slits, however, I just need to increase it slightly. In fact, when the path difference is 0.1 lambda, basically I already get uh, close to destructive interference. And in fact, at most path differences, the interference is mostly destructive. Except when the path difference is like an uh, integer number of wavelengths, and that's when you get the constru uh, super constructive interference. So to summarize, when it comes to constructive interference, both the grating and double slits get uh, constructive interference when the path difference is integer number of wavelengths. The only difference is that the grating is a superposition of hundreds, if not thousands, of waves in phase. Whereas for the double slit, it's just two waves in phase. As for destructive interference, for the double slit, the waves from the two slits destroy each other only when the path difference is odd integer number of path wavelengths. For the grating, waves from the hundreds or thousands of slits destroy each other at 
pretty whatever path difference, except when the path difference is an integer number of wavelengths. So it's quite extreme for the grating. It's either a super constructive interference or destructive interference. There is not much of partial constructive or partial destructive interference. This explains why the grating's interference pattern has such good contrast. For the double slit, we are only superposing two waves, so the bright fringes are not as bright as the double slits. Also, for the double slit, the path difference has to reach half a lambda before we get the first complete destructive interference. For the grating, when you have hundreds or even thousands or more slits, basically you get destructive interference at any path difference except those where you get uh, constructive interference. So the intensity drop very quickly once the path difference uh, is not integer number of wavelengths. In practice, the slit separation for a double slit is usually much larger than the slit separation in a grating. So um, that means the fringes for a double slit are usually much closer together. So if we draw the intensity profile for the double slits uh, interference pattern together with the gratings, you can see the, the difference between the two. Now you can see why the gratings bright fringes are much brighter and much narrower and more spaced out compared to the double slits. And I hope you know the reasons now. Okay, that's all. Ta-ta!